Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to work on adding a data disk to one of our existing VMs. And this is one of the exam objectives for AZ-104 administrator, uh, Azure administrator exam. Uh, you can have a Windows machine or virtual machine. For this lab, I'm going to use a virtual machine, a Ubuntu virtual machine that's running. And we're going to add a data disk to our existing system. Um, and if we have time, we'll try to mount that as well. So let's go to one of the machines. Uh, uh, this is Ubuntu Sub 2 VM1. And if I, uh, where you need to go is go to the disk and it's going to tell you what kind of disks are attached to this, to this machine. And this one looks like I already have something in here. So let's choose maybe uh, v Sub 3 VM1. So I just want to C1 where I only have the data uh, waste disk and nothing for the data disk. Okay, so when you create a virtual machine uh, using Azure, it creates a bunch of things, and one of the things that it's going to create is uh, waste disk. And you should not be saving any of your uh, persistent data to the waste disk. It's a, it's a common practice that you should add and create your own data disk, uh, and then work on it. Save your stuff in there. So for this particular Ubuntu machine, I do not have any data disk. So again, how to go there? So you can look for virtual machines. When you get to your Azure portal and then look for the virtual machine and we're going to add it to the three uh, overview is going to tell you uh, information about this particular machine. We're going to go to disks and from the disk, we review what we have and we do not have any data disk, so we click on the data disk and see that is saying, hey, no manage disk available, so we cannot add anything. So you can either create a manage disk and come back over here, or you can click the drop down menu and look at that. There's a create disk link out here. You click on that. So that takes you to the create manage disk blade. So, so we can call it VM3 three data disk right that's what we are doing same resource group uh, observe that the location they're already at the same place where your uh, your machine is deployed and you cannot change that source type none we're going to create a new one and size you can change the size if you want I'm just going to select the default one and encryption you can do either uh, this is the default encryption at rest with platform manage key if you want your own key you can click on that one and you can use this customer manage key and that will require some additional steps we're not going to do that so we're just going to let azure to handle our encryption so click on create so you see over here it's saying creating the disk this is our notification area so while this is going on, let's go to this page. This is a resource page and, and, and you just search by, you should use the portal to attach a data disk to Linux VM. So this is gonna give you some information that we are doing in this lab. And you should re read through it. So kind of, you can look at it. So we went to the portal, we went to the disk for a particular virtual machine and they went to the, my VM, we went to our VM3. Then we clicked on the, attach add new data disk and here it gave us a create link and then uh, we configured this one as well and we create we're kind of at this stage right now <laughs> once this is done we have to save the settings so let's go back and see what's going on with our deployment where are we Yeah, I think we got it. So no, 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 no. We have three. Yeah, we, yeah, we got it. So look at uh, this notification bar one more time. So it says successfully created the disk. So you can click over here as well. So let's hold on. Um, from here, this is refresh the whole page. This button is not available. So refresh from here. <laughs> So this is now going to give us the disk view and let's see uh -oh, what happened. 
I don't see any. I don't see where did it go. All right, let's go to Ubuntu. And let's refresh that one. We have two different windows open. I'm, I, I'm just making sure that we did it properly because it says the deployment is uh, has worked properly. So let's close this one. I didn't see anything in here. It says no data disk. That's very, very weird. So let's go back to the Windows activity log. I just want to see what happened. Create deployment two minutes ago. So let's look at this one. Uh, create deployment JSON. Sometimes you do have to do this kind of troubleshooting just to see what's going on. So it says deployment manage disk. It succeeded. Resource group VM, VM3 data disk. All of that looks good. So let's go over here. Uh, let's just look for data disk. Do I have a blade for that? Or just disk? Yeah, we got a disk view. So let's see what kind of disk do we have. Okay, this is the disk that we created. Okay, it looks, looks like we created, but we didn't really assign it to anything. So let's click on that one and uh, go back to the machine and just get that disk for whatever reason it uh, we probably missed something in there that did not uh, that uh, uh, didn't assign this disk to this particular machine. So let's go back to the disk. So we got the disk. So add a data disk and this time we just need to pick up that disk that we have already created most likely we didn't save but what happened when we went to the other window this page was not there anymore so now to attach that vm disk that we created you have to click on save okay that's very important if you don't do that it's not going to be attached to this particular vm so as we are here let's finish that one so that's going to attach that particular disk to my virtual machine. Now, how do you know? Again, from the disk view, now it's going to say you have OS disk. This is your OS disk, operating system disk. And here, data disk, this is now attached to this system. And again, you can click on that one. Most likely, it's going to tell you the owner of this disk is this particular VM. That's another way to check whether this disk has been attached properly. Now, once you are done with that, uh, let's log in to that machine. Okay, uh, which machine is that? So let's go to virtual machine three. Let's get our IP address of that machine. Uh, let's SSH to that one. Okay, let's uh, uh, SSH. And then do say yes, and then give a super secret password. And now you are logged in. In this video, uh, in this uh, in this environment, now, how do you know which if which if the disk has been mounted properly? So that's something we're gonna take a look at and see what to do next. So we have done all of that steps so far. Now attach an existing disk. To do that. We have done all that. We have done all that. So here, connect the Linux VM to mount the new disk. So we are already in that Linux VM. So let's run this command. Okay. 
डी मेसेज ग्रेप एस सी एस आई नाउ वी हैव एंड दे आर लुकिंग फॉर एस डी सी इज द डिस्क बट वी मे हैव समथिंग डिफरेंट एस डी सी एस डी सी एस डी सी इज द डिस्क एस सी एस आई डिस्क दैट वी मोस्ट लाइकली नीड वॉट डू वी नीड इफ यू यूजिंग एक्सिस्टिंग डिस्क दैट कॉन्टेंस डेटा स्कीप टू माउंटिंग द डिस्क इफ यू आर अटैचिंग अ न्यू डिस्क यू नीड टू पार्टिसन द डिस्क सो वी नीड टू पार्टिसन द डिस्क सो वी आर गोइंग टू रन दिस कॉमेंट सुरो एफ डिस्क डेफ एस डी सी and use the in command to add a new partition so here i'll just use n to add a new partition and then if it's primary or extended let's see what they're showing so we're going to choose p as the primary partition okay and then partition number choose 1 and uh, first sector using default value so just hit enter and it's just doing something it's doing formatting and once the formatting is done you're good okay so it's just doing the formatting just give it a second and you should see some output very very soon okay while this is going on uh i'm going to pause the video for a second as soon as it's done i'm going to um, i'm going to come back all right we're back so this this one created the partition that we needed and if you want to look at the partition you can uh type w most likely it's going to give you the partition so this is the partition and we know that it's a 1024 uh gigs uh, megabytes so uh, file <clears throat> so we have done that uh, what is it so the partition table has been altered so command so now we have this so to to save this you still have to do the f a uh, w so now w is writing so they now we have written that to our systems now this file should be available to us that system and now write the file system to partition and mkfs command specify your file system so once that's done i can write a file system so this one attach that file now and here mkfs is make file system and what is the type ext4 is one of the modern file types that we have in the Win, uh, linux system and you just enter hit enter and it's just now you can see that it's all done so it's creating a journal in that case uh journal blocks is fine i'm just going to hit enter and it should say when it's done it will say done and we'll have uh some more output in a minute so i'm going to give it another minute and be back once that's done and most likely at that point we can uh, end the video we'll be back what right, we are back so we have done couple things um now we have formatted the disk so this this is the steps that we that we finished okay so we connect it to the virtual machine we ssh to the system we partition the hard disk okay and then what we did uh we uh we we have defined a file system within the partition we are done up to that point and next we still have to mount the disk so you so you have to create a directory and on the directory we are going to mount that disk so let's go back and sudo mkdir is just going to create create a data disk for me so it created under ls so um, so it there would yeah there is there's nothing there in the disk at the moment so if you do ls and this you should see the data drive so right here we are going to mount this particular disk that we have got and it's pretty easy so it's sudo mount dev sdc1 to that drive 
So, here we go. Now it's mounted, so now you can just do CD data drive. So now you are actually within that particular disk and you can create some file here, touch test. Uh, touch this, I do not have any permission yet, but you can start using this. Let's see if sudo touch test would work. So it does, so ls right there. So, so I got a disk uh, where now I can do stuff. Here's my file. Okay, it's got read write and read read access and root. I just created this file um, within that disk. Okay. So that's all I wanted to show you in that video. Um, you can look at the other thing, uh, like the current partition and stuff like that, but that's probably uh, not required at this time. Uh, and that if a step command is not available in the system anyway. So let's recap in this, in this video, we, looked at our VM configuration, we found there was no data disk, we created a data disk, then we attached the disk to the virtual machines. And this is a Linux virtual machine we're working on. So we had to first uh, format the disk and assign a file system. So two step process, once that those two steps were done, we created a drive and then mounted the disk to the drive and that's where we're ending this video hopefully this was useful to you if you like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe share with your friends and please subscribe good luck with the exam